Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was talking, wasn't he, saying Barcelona were a couple of levels above Manchester United. I think they had three shots on target over the two legs. You, I know, you've, I'm not, not sure you'd use the word mistake, but you said it's a bit interesting appointment of Solskjaer, hasn't it, this season for you? And I know on Radio 5 on a Friday night, you've sort of explained your decisions mm. as to why you think he wasn't maybe the right person to go for. No, yeah, I mean, I, I all along thought that they should go with Pochettino and they should have stuck with, you know, that decision. Um, but I also, you know, are very clear of the fact that if I was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I'd gone into Manchester United as a previous player and done that job, I would have expected to be given the job. I'd have expected them to see that and say, you know, I deserve it now. I just felt that their decision was based on, based on emotion rather than actual logic. So the emotional side of things, I felt that from a Manchester United's point of view is not really how they should be running the football club, really. But... Even saying that, let's not get carried away. They've been beat by Barcelona twice, they lost to, lost to PSG, beat by Wolves twice and lost away to Arsenal. They're still good teams that, that, that they've lost to and the run to get them back into even contention with the Premier League has been sensational. And, and after that, particularly that defeat to Barcelona, there's been a lot of questions this week, Matt, about a potential clear-out and, and who he keeps, who he gets rid of in the summer. Where would, where would you go with regards to that? Would you, would you remove some of, the, some of the big names and go for a full rebuild? P personally, I think it would be, you know, the right players out is, is obviously the right way. And for me, there are big players, Paul Pogba for one of them, who I feel would be better off if they were able to, to move Pogba for a good transfer fee, free up some of the wages. I think that could be of more benefit to the team right now than having, than having him on board. Not because he's not a good player, I think he's a very good player. I just feel that the project that United have, I think he sees himself in a different project. Uh, one that is out there, ready to win Champions League, is in the prime of his career. Um, and I, I just think that the squad at the moment would be better suited if they were to do that. I'd I keep Pogba personally and build around him. I get Matt's point, And if, Pogba's, if Paul Pogba's kind of mind is focused on leaving and not on, on Manchester United, then yeah, get rid of him. But he's, a, he's still a, a top midfield player. And I think we saw glimpses in the initial stages with, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the best he can get out of him, the goals, mm. the assists he was creating for Rashford. Um, I think this, this kind of fall away we've seen from Pogba has been to the lack of um, stability he's had around him to an extent, with injuries to Matic and so on and Herrera. Um, so I just feel that build around that type of player. I feel like people, players like Martial, they need to step up for me. You get, you know, what you get, two good months out of Martial a season. And he, he's much better than that. He's, you know, he's a top player. Uh, one other question I wanted to ask as well. There's an exclusive in uh, the Daily Mail today talking about Zaha. Of course, it has been to Manchester United. I'll hold that up for you. Mm. Saying, time to go. Uh, Palace winger insists he should be playing in the Champions League. Interesting timing. Um, you know, with a, a big game for Palace this weekend. Is that, is that a bold decision? Is that the right decision? Is he going to face a bit of flack from Palace fans, do you think, for that? I would say so. I think, you know, to come out with that at this stage of the season while being a Palace player, the fans aren't going to be particularly he, happy with what that is. And... But he's, you know, he's a, he's a great footballer and he's thinking about his future. He could have left last year. He decided to become the highest paid player in Palace's history instead. So, you know, that was his decision then. I think he should be playing Champions League football but he wanted to stay at Palace. Is he ready to operate at a club of that stature now after that experience? Has it made him capable to go and play at a club like Manchester United, having failed and, and been through that process? That's the question for me. So. I, from what I've seen this year, he's capable of doing it. There is a little bit of petulance in there, but he's still a top, top player that I think most teams would take.